Hey guys, welcome back to our Not Polish YouTube channel. And today we are going to be doing some spring nails. We're going to get a jump start on a lot of things this year, okay? We want to be ahead of the game. So we're going to be doing a lot of spring nails until summer. So today's nails, I'm going to be doing some, uh, what is it? Oh, we're going to be doing a little bit of the hand paint daisies. And, you know, a little bit of the transfer uh, foil with the butterflies. But we did that on our last video. But I was just want to focus a little bit more on my little daisies that I love. So it's super cute and super easy. So... All right, guys, check it out. Hi, guys. I already have the Not Polish Universal tips on like usual. And we're starting out with an ombre nail. And I'm actually using number N42 from Not Polish today. This color is called something loud. I forgot. Anyways, so we're gonna flatten out the top right there just a bit and then clean your brush Tap it out flatten that top area out and then now I am gonna press and pull the rest of the product towards the tip of the nail But as you can see when the product is a little bit more runnier Then I'm just gonna work out the top area first and then work towards the bottom of the tip of the nail just like this and I'm just gonna pull it all the way down and what's good about not polish product at it doesn't run all over the place or give you time to play with it but it's not runny so it's the best of both wor both world right there you go and I'm gonna tap the tip of it just to make sure I straighten that out and um, we can encapsulate it with clear or without. It depends on what you want today. But I think I'm just going to go without encapsulating it with clear. But I want to show you guys this color. Oh, you see? So I'm using a very vibrant color. And then I pick up the second, another bead of a different color. I didn't clean my brush really well. You can see that the yellow contaminated my other color so make sure you guys clean that out pretty well okay or else you're gonna contaminate contaminate it like i did so let's try it for the second bead okay now this is a lot better but you still can kind of see a little bit of yellow stain that's okay but once it's done and you file you won't see that yellow right there okay so we're just gonna work it into the cuticles and then slightly pull it down just tap it tap it tap it and then pull it down when it's a little bit runnier just kind of tap it into place and then when it kind of set a little bit more then we pull you see that ombre transition look how easy this is this number is m31 from not polish this number is not like a nude it's more like a nudish um peachy nude can you see it you see how that made that ombre super super easy look at that look at that blend look how it just blend into each other like that and i'm not gonna cap it with clear i'm gonna show you guys how when i file it you won't see that line either okay so i'm gonna now you can see the true color of this m31 right here you see it's kind of like a um peachy a little more on a peachy tone it's very pretty you see that and this for this now i'm just gonna keep it kind of clear and then um we're gonna add some butterfly foil for you guys to see um i've been doing a lot of foil nails i love the butterfly nails as you can see on my instagram i've been doing a lot of butterfly nails so i've been kind of st stuck okay so wet your brush well your brush is going to be wet anyway so just kind of pick up the glitters and just lightly tap it into the acrylic just like that while the acrylic is still wet and you guys will notice that anytime i do encapsulation so i'm going to encapsulate this glitter in right so anytime i do encapsulation i always use two beads of clear acrylic but we'll get to there so i'm just going to add a little bit more glitter to it and then just add, add a little bit of glitter and then just a reminder um, that anytime I'm working with acrylic, I always use it on real time so you guys can kind of see 
the speed I'm working with so I don't speed it up or slow it down so so just so you guys can kind of see see I'm going to place my first bead there hold it in place as you can see make sure you hold the finger downward okay just so the product will run towards the tip not run to the side so I'll just put it right there I'm gonna tap it out to is smooth out the top area first and then and tap it in place and once it starts drying up a little bit more then I'm gonna apply a little bit more pressure and use the body of the brush and press and pull the nail towards the tip of the finger the tips okay there you go you see very and again you see how much I'm, I'm I'm putting very little pressure on it okay just tiny bit of pressure not a lot of pressure and just kind of pull it all the way down to the end like that and then I'm just gonna mold it into place and then we're gonna go over the nail again with a second bead of powder just a smaller bead And then for the smaller beads right there and then slightly pull it down again the reason I always do two beads with the crystal clear encapsulation nail is because I want to keep my clear nails as clear as pop as possible without any air bubbles okay I will remind you guys every time for the new um, watcher so here you go you can see that and now let's, I'm gonna show you guys again how beautiful this yellow is. M42 from Not Polished Guy. Look, you see how I put it on? It does not run. You see that? Hold it in place for a second. Clean your brush. Tap out. You see how I'm just tap, tap, tap. Clean the brush. Dip in a little bit monomer. Flatten out the top area just like that. Clean your brush. Make sure you guys keep your brush clean. Anytime your brush have acrylic stuck on it, you go to tap the product on the nail, you will end up pulling the product off with the brush. Your um, your powder will end up, it's, it, it will stick to the brush. So make sure you keep your brush clean, okay? And anytime you guys have acrylic stuck to your brush, make sure you guys do not soak it in acetone, but you, you soak it in monomer. So you put the brush in the jar of monomer and let it soak in there and while you soak just you know every so like just kind of use a piece of paper towel and just kind of clean it out if there's still some more left soak some more and then clean it out and then that's how you clean it up if you soak it in acetone your brush will be super dry you will lose all the oil on the bristle okay and then I'm just gonna mold it into the shape yep make sure you guys keep your shape pretty clean on uh, while you guys apply on your powder okay or else you're just gonna spend a lot of time shaping it later okay so here one bead down so close the cuticle clean your brush and dip it in a little bit monomer push that towards the cuticles make sure that's flat there you go and then kind of runny so i'm just gonna hold it in place for a second there and now i'm just gonna pull it down there you go you see you look at that coverage it's very effortlessly blend does that make sense you see that very gentle you see how gently i am pulling the product there you go you look at that look at that one bead but you can see the coverage of that color okay and now i'm just gonna go in with the five in one super cut from not polish just to pre-shape my uh, nail before i hand file and then we're just gonna go in you see that look at that dust action okay now i'm just gonna lightly lightly tap on the side You see how that just kind of, I do all my shaping with the drill bit. You can kind of see it go 
um, look how straight that looks already with just the um, with just the drill bit alone. So I won't spend a lot of time hand filing it later on. So that's gonna be good, right? So smooth out close up cuticles, and then we're gonna blend it all the way down. Look, you can see that I am blended. I'm a, I'm smoothing it out right where the ombre is at, but without this is without me encapsulating it with clear and with me filing like this. You can see that it did not create a like a harsh line like how some product does. You know, when you blend down the, the nude and then you go to file, you didn't encapsulate it. It's gonna show that like an like that harsh line of ombre, but you can see with this. It kept the ombre pretty smooth and I'm telling you this hand file from not polished right here you guys will love it you have to try it it's um, super super sturdy always use a super sturdy hand file okay and look at that shape All right, same things go for this one. I'm just kind of, I'm just, just, I just want you guys to see the um, the process of me pre-shaping the nail, right? You know, shaping is actually one of my favorite part of doing acrylic. It's just, and it, I think I like it because it doesn't really take me a lot of time either and it just completely changed the whole look of the nail like the, the the set right once you have it all shape the nail just looks so much better so I think that's one of my favorite part it used to be placed in rhinestone but um I think I'm over that it, it I feel like rhinestone takes me longer than um shaping the nails now you know how you go through phases well anyways back to shaping the nails I'm just gonna smooth I'm just gonna smooth out like I'm just gonna show you guys where the the transitioning of the ombre is at right there and I'm just gonna show you guys what well, even with hand with filing it like that I did not lose the ombre looks you see that look how close it in for you guys to see okay now we're just gonna hand file it and shape it um for if you guys are beginners really new into doing ombres make sure you guys purchase the number 102 nude panther from not polish okay guys that nude will make your ombre life so much easier okay you can be good but if you use in product that's not really good it can make your job a lot harder okay so we're gonna go in and buff it nice and smooth and i'm gonna use the not polish transfer gel i'm showing I know I showed you guys this on the last video, but I just want to show you guys how easy this ombre trans I mean this not ombre, this transfer gel is. This transfer gel is it worked perfectly, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how well it transferred over, okay? And make sure you guys cure it under the light long enough. It has to be at least 30 seconds. If it's not long enough, it will be too sticky and your 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 foil won't transfer over. So make sure you guys cure it under the light long enough, okay? Now that is cure. Um, I know I used a different color butterfly on my nails, but I just want to use the darker color butterflies on this transfer so you guys can kind of see it more on my video. Look at that perfectly transfer. You see that? Perfect. Look at that perfect butterflies. Put it on. You see that? Look, super, super easy. I'm going to do it again just because I just it's just satisfying peeling it off all nice and neat. Press it in. Peel it off. There you go. And then now I'm just gonna go in with the not polished matte top coat. And make sure you guys put the glossy top coat underneath of the clear nails to make it super shiny. And then I'm gonna show you guys this today. Look at these rhinestones. It will be available on not polished pretty soon. It comes in 20 different shapes. Look how look how sparkly they are. Look at the beauty. Okay, I'll show you guys later. But back to my daisy I was talking about. So what I'm doing is using my detail brush and dip it in a little bit of white gel. And then just kind of, you see, paint a little, kind of make a line, a dot 
it's kind of like making a dot you see that you can see the point at the tip of the brush as the um what do you call it look at that super easy right one it kind of press it down and drag it out just a little bit press it down press it down and just kind of drag it just a tiny bit these days are super easy it looks it's really easy you guys should really try it it's just not complicated at all so maybe I should be done okay now before we cure it pour some white powder on top of it and then cure it under the light for 30 seconds and dust it off and it gives you that little sugar effect right and now for my gold glitter so I'm gonna do a yellow gel polish just so I can enhance the gold a, lot, a little bit more so I'm using a gel a yellow gel polish and then before we cure it we're gonna sprinkle on some gold glitters okay guys do not cure it now we sprinkle some gold glitter on top of it and then we cure it under the light for 30 seconds but before we do that i am gonna go in and make my little center for my flowers right there and then sprinkle the glitter on top of all of them and then now we cure it under the light for 30 seconds and then while that's curing i am going to draw on just you know a couple white lines here just to add some white into the look look at that and then i'm gonna make a thinner line on the bottom also just make it a little cute easy and then while the gel is still wet we're gonna sprinkle the white powder on top of it and then we cure it under the light for 30 seconds right there you go and then dust it off look how cute that look but anyways back to my rhinestone that i want to show you guys so i'm using the diamond gel from not polish it's a non-cleansing diamond gel and let me show you guys these rhinestones so look how shiny they are you see that they're super shiny super shiny you see i know how some um you know some pictures some people might enhance the shininess of the diamond but this is not enhanced okay guys look at that look how super shiny they are they're not the real swarovski okay guy they're not the real they're not the real kind but they're just as shiny look at that it's kind of like at least oh look at that shine look at that it's um cheaper and it's just as pretty look at that and i want to cure all that under the light when it's done this will be available on not polish pretty soon okay guys and it's gonna be for such a good price so make sure you guys check it out and this is the finished product i hope you guys enjoy that look at that rhinestone you see how shiny they are and they come in at a fraction of a price